In the previous video tutorials, we have seen how to create a logo. In this tutorial, we will create a business card for our business and we will use our logo which we have created on our business card. To start off, from the quick start menu, click on the new blank document. And then this will now open a create new document as before and I'm gonna name it just car. And then I'm going to set the custom size. I'm going to set the size of 85 by 55, which is usually the ISO approved size for the business card. Once I have done that, I will leave all the rest of the settings as it is, except I'll go to one page and then I'll hit on OK. And here I can see the working area of my project or actually this is going to be the uh, business card itself so we're gonna create our images and text and everything else here so I went ahead and I have imported this picture here picture of a pizza that we like to use for my business card and we have seen before how to import other documents pictures and whatnot into our project and we'll see it once more again when I'm importing the logo we have created but it's also important to see that um, we have set this document to have only one page and therefore there's only one page here displayed one one bar we can of course add more pages by clicking on this button here and we'll have a look at working with multiple pages a bit a bit later but for now just remember that we can see how many pages our document our project has right here now this picture that I have imported um, actually, I do not want to use the whole picture. I just want to use the portion of this picture So the first thing I would like to actually do is set its height and I will set it to 55 as the height of our card is 55 and I'll just center it Then I will use a basic tool a rectangular tool and draw a rectangular like like this make sure that its height is 55 millimeters as well and then I'll just align it like so and then the next thing I would like to do is actually select both of these images so the the pizza and which is in background at the moment and this tool that I have just uh, sorry this rectangular uh, shape that I have just drawn so having this selected I'll press the shift key on my keyboard and click on the picture in the background and then I can see that I have all these little icons available right now so what I would like to do is I would like to use the intersect icon um, we have actually used this before in one of the tutorials so by pressing this button I'll actually get a copy of that proportion that's actually intersecting so where those two objects intersect I will get a cutout which is actually what I want from this picture so I can delete everything else and I can just move my cutout to be right here having it aligned and everything else right so the next thing I would like to do is to actually import or insert our logo into our new project so by right clicking the mouse button and then selecting import or just clicking control and I key we can insert or import our images so I would like to insert or import this pizza logo and it's a um, PNG file so just select and click on it and click on import and then just drag it and there it is this is a logo we have created before so what I would like to do is actually use this logo to be in our background so I'll make it a bit bigger first of all I'll put it here and now what I would like to do is I'm gonna have some text over this background so I will have to make sure that the text is clearly visible and therefore I will have to change this and to do that I will use the tool located right right here and it's actually called the transparency tool so just click on it and then click anywhere on the image and just move in any direction and as you can see there's a little slider here and I can actually move this slider up or down to actually get that uneven transparency as I call it but what I would like to do is I would like this whole image to be uh, evenly transparent and to do so we will go up here 
and instead of linear or any other actually option we have available here we'll go with the uniform and now we can see that it's uh, the whole image our whole logo has become a bit more transparent and actually to change this transparency we can go here and we can go all the way to 100 of course we're not gonna see any image as it becomes transparent totally or we can just go zero so for our purpose I'll probably go to around probably around 90 somewhere I can just type in here 90 uh, it's a bit too much so let's go back to maybe 70 yeah I think that's about right all right so the next thing I would like to do is actually insert some text here and to do that we'll just click on the tel uh, text tool or press F8 now first of all I would like to have some text here so I'll click here and and start typing some text now then I would like to have another text here so I'll click there and start typing some text as well I'll probably have some text here and maybe the actual address here as well now this is a good reason why I have just typed some some letters is because I actually like to see what I'm working with and um, actually how to uh, how to position everything on our project and then I can actually type the actual text itself so I'll type here um, Uncle Tony's and I will change this the size of the font I will change it to let's go with something like this and what I actually can do here of course I can go and select any of other font available but uh, I also have the, ab the ability to actually apply some special effects to this if you click on this little triangular um, arrow here you will get some of the effects that can be applied to this particular um, text and this particular font so we are currently in Arial and we have three possible effects applied to that can be applied to this text so and as you can see as I move down the list we get a live preview of what the text will look like so I'll go with the, with the bottom one and now I'll actually make it a bit smaller so actually I'll go, I'll go with size 20 and then here we can maybe type um, homemade pizza We once again select everything we can apply the FX to it as well so let's go let's go for example with this one and I'll change the size I'll put it down to 14 and what I would like to do now is actually get this uh, lined up with the top text and to do so if you move your text you can actually see little dotted lines right on the edge so where my A is so that means that the bottom text has been aligned with the top text as um, it's actually been right justified and that's pretty good when you're actually trying to align something those little lines and give a good guidance so we'll leave it here for now and I'll move to the, this bit here and usually with this sort of businesses the most important thing is actually the telephone number because most of the people just call and um, order some pizza for delivery and stuff so we'll just put just put telephone number so we'll say one two three four five six seven eight for example we'll select all that and also you can apply different effects to different parts of the text so if I just select the, the text tell here I can go and choose I would like that to be displayed so the effect on that particular word and then I can move on to my numbers for example and I can apply different different styles to my numbers as well so for example let's go with let's go with uh, let's go with this one and I like to select all and I would like to make it a bit more small so maybe we'll make it 18 So that's pretty good I think we'll put it here somewhere and we'll use the last text just to input our address so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight 
Street, Street, Sam Town. Once again, we can apply the FX to it. And we can see that we can apply many different FX for this one. So let's go, for example, this one, and we'll change the size so it fits nicely in there. And then we'll just align it. Once again, you can see the little dotted line right on the um, right hand side of my text there. So we are making it align to the right. And we'll actually just move this in there. There's another way of actually seeing and applying these effects to the text. So basically, if we select any text and then we go to Object Properties. We can find these effects here. So, depending on the font you're using, we can find many different effects here. So, for example, um, in our case, we can actually go here and apply some different sets of styled sets of effects and so on. Of course, we can then change the color of our text as well. So, for example, let's make it. Let's make the fill of red and we'll go with uh, black outline and we'll basically do the same for all of the text below except for maybe uh, the telephone number will make it look a bit more different stand out a bit more for example so let's go with the red and black so yellow and black and for the street name we'll do exactly the same so maybe one more thing we can do is actually um, put in some text to actually show the working hours and instead of actually clicking on text tool here and then writing the text what I will do is actually I will use one of the techniques I've uh, shown before is actually um, selecting the text then holding the control button taking one of these little squares and just drag it, uh, going down and then before I let go of my left mouse button I'll click on the right mouse button and I have actually duplicated this um, this text and then what I would need to do is actually select it and mirror image and there I have my my new text and I'll move it just down here and I'll double click it and I'll just write open seven days. Alright, we'll change the size. So we'll go down to maybe 16, 14. And we'll go with some different color again. So let's go maybe with the blue and, and red, for example. And then we'll just align it here somewhere. And also what we can do, I don't know if it's going to look nice or not, but we can apply the same effect, the process we did before. So we'll create a copy like this. And then what we will do is actually we'll go to the transparency tool and we'll do exactly the same as we did with the, um, with the logo. We'll go to uniform and then we'll change this just a little bit like this so we get that reflection of a, a reflection effect now because we have the background here it doesn't look that good but if you remove the background you can see that it actually does have that reflection there so that's actually how um, you would create the reflection of a text in Corel Draw. of course you can apply some of the other effects found in the Corel Draw to actually get this but that's basically how it's done manually if you like so i'll just go back to what i had before and i will actually delete this and also what we can do with the text is one more effect it's actually um, we have all the letters actually aligned here but if we go to our um, shape tool of 
press F10, you will find that if we click on any of these little nodes and make sure they become black, kill them, and we can actually move our letters so that they are not aligned altogether anymore. And basically we can apply that to any any text we have. So for example for telephone number we can move this one up there and move it down here and so on. So basically there's a lot of effects that we can apply in actually creating our business cards but I have just shown you some of the ways to actually do that and basically it's just up to your imagination and your desire how you would like your business card to look like so basically we have just seen at the beginning how to actually create a cutout by masking the area we want to um, get the cutout from and if you remember we selected both of the images one which was the rectangular basic object which actually was our mask and we have selected the area where those two objects those two pictures intersect and we have just cut out this little portion of that picture we have seen how to insert once again our graphical file such as our logo here we have seen how to apply transparency to it then we have seen how to enter some letters how to change the effects and that's basically some of the techniques and some of the ways you can actually create your business card.